You're supposed to think that, that they're saying we're living on a hedge, I guess, this morning. The Brookings uh, Institution holding a forum to figure out the role that hedge funds are playing in the economic crisis. It was a stretch, but uh, joining us first on CBC Hedge Fund, uh, Jim, it says here, it doesn't, you know, I, we know what we call I call you Mr. Shorty. You don't like that, really, uh, but we're going to call you a hedge fund. We're going to make it big this time. Hedge fund titan. Uh, and it does, oh it, does, you know, it does say noted short seller, uh, Jim Jones, and, and we're glad to have you, and we look forward to the next time you're, you're in, uh, in studio with us, uh, Jim, but, but welcome. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you all. And you got a Brookings, uh, a, 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 I guess there's a, what, what are we calling this thing, kind of a, a forum, and you're going to explore the role of hedge funds in the ongoing financial crisis, and your point is, or one of the things you're sort of crowing about, you didn't get any TARP money. Some of your investors lost money, but they took their losses, and that's the way it should be in a free market, right? Well, uh, talking about the industry overall, uh, that, that's right, Joe. I mean, uh, the hedge fund industry, one of the few uh, actors on the financial stage who uh, didn't take taxpayer money. And uh, while we, as an industry, didn't have our best year, uh, I think it's one of the things we can hold our head highest about uh, in that uh, our investors uh, knew the risks, uh, and where there were losses, they took them um, uh, with full disclosure and with quite a bit of transparency, as a matter of fact. And, and I don't, everyone thought that the, what would bring, this, bring us down and get us out of that, that uh, heady period from a couple of years ago was going to be uh, the implosion of the hedge fund industry. And um, for people that called your demise, there, it was great. That, that's not the way it happened. It was the regulated entities that brought us down. It was a regulated entities. In fact, many hedge fund managers uh, uh, sounded the warning bells far back as 06 and 07 to the regulators about the regulated entities, and those warnings were ignored. Uh, we were rewarded with uh, things like the short selling ban uh, uh, for our efforts. So uh, I think there needs to be a better dialogue between the industry and, and Washington, particularly as we're going forward with a new financial framework. Uh, you know, some say the, the new financial center of the U.S. is, is here in Washington. Um, I still think it's stuck in traffic somewhere outside of Baltimore. It's not quite here yet, mm -hmm. uh, as events of this week have shown. But, uh, but uh, I think it's important that a better dialogue between New York and Washington occur. Jim, has anybody really given grief to the hedge fund managers lately? It seems like they've turned all their attention to the public CEOs of the banks. I, I haven't heard hedge funds mentioned in quite some time. Uh, yeah, Becky, I think <laughs> they're there but for the, the, the grace of God. I mean, uh, we, were, uh, we were the whipping boy, I think, in the, in the summer. and. Uh, and fall uh, due in no small part to, to some of the same people who were uh, testifying yesterday uh, blaming us for their ills. I think that uh, uh, cooler heads and saner heads have prevailed now and, and uh, as we get down to uh, the, uh, the concept of regulating our financial markets in a better way, which the hedge fund industry supports and is accepting, um, I think everybody needs to sit at the table and not point fingers and, and uh, figure out how we're going to get out of this mess. What did you make of the hearings yesterday? I, I don't think any of those guys said anything about short sellers putting them in the, the boat that they're in right now either, did they? Did you hear that? I, uh, I don't think so, Joe. I didn't, I didn't hear all the hearings, uh, but uh, I think the uh, refrain from earlier in the year that short sellers were the problem seems to, uh, by all evidence and fact that we now know, uh, seems to be a pretty silly narrative, and I think they've dropped it. You didn't take any satisfaction in watching these guys uh, on the hot seat yesterday, did you? I've been on that hot seat. I took no satisfaction. It's, it's not a pleasant place to be. Um, you know, you're there for a reason, and it, it's not your reason. Um, you know, I did Jamie Dimon et al. Uh, I think uh, did as well as they could have. Um, it's a tough position. I mean, uh, everybody's out for their time to flesh, and they had to be there. And as I said, I've been in that position, and uh, uh, it's uh, it's often not a lot of fun. But it's important. Uh, the American public wants to hear you. Hey, Jim, when it comes to the hedge funds, there are some people who are still upset because they're locked into some of these hedge funds. They can't get out of them, can't get their money back. Yeah. What about redemption? Yeah. yeah. I think it was one of the worst things my industry did. I've said that publicly. Our organization, the Coalition of Private Investment Companies, has come out and said that. Um, I think the gating or so-called uh, limiting of redemptions of, for investors, um, just as hedge funds were sort of uh, beginning to... Uh, to uh, redeem their, uh, their uh, worth in the eyes of investors occurred at year end in conjunction with Madoff and really made for an unpleasant news cycle. And, and I think uh, uh, it's something that the industry needs to really self-examine and, uh, and look at itself pretty hard. I, I do not think it was a good development and uh, we, uh, we were uh, 
pretty upset with our fellow managers that gated people and restricted redemptions. Jim, uh, just a, a guess on your part. Is the market going to give the Geithner Bank plan the benefit of the doubt and give them some time or uh, sell now and reevaluate later? Well, I'm not sure what the Geithner Bank plan is. Exactly. Uh, and, and, and I think that that Kyle, I think that's the problem. I think there was the expectation over the weekend of a lot of plans being floated and a lot of various different things, including the the, the market to market, which has been on everybody lip, everybody's lips, which uh, uh, I, I think would be a mistake, by the way. But uh, I think that uh, uh, right now we don't know what the plan is, and I think they're they're still trying to come up with it. And, I, and, and on top of that, we've got some deadlines for financial system regulation uh, proposals uh, at the end of April coming up. Uh, there's a lot going on down here. But Jim, uh, we look forward to you, as I said, having you in the studio for a much longer time. But uh, thanks for uh, checking in with us today. Well, I miss you guys in the studios. It's always tough for remote. Thanks so much. It is. All right. We'll see you. He passed with flying colors. Not, not always. Um, I, I I kind of wish he'd go and talk to Geithner and, you know, you may weigh in on, on how we're doing this, right? When we come back,